Hi Year 9, hopefully by now you've watched the YouTube clip about Max Ernst and his surrealist frottage artwork. So today now we're going to have a go at a similar technique. So you can see I've been around my house and I've taken rubbings from lots of different things. Uh, this is on the presentation so you can have a look at this. So I've got things like my daughter's uh, The Soul of a Trainer. I've got uh, some mosaic tiles, the, the door lock and cheese grater. So I'm going to show you now how to actually go about doing your rubbings because uh, there is a certain method that works best. So I've got a metal spatula here. So you need objects, first of all, that have got lots of texture, so any raised areas. So I'm going to put this underneath my nice, thin, just normal, cheap co photocopy paper. And then your pencil then needs to be quite sharp so that your, the lead is quite long. And what you're going to do, you're not going to hold it like a normal pencil. You're going to actually put your finger like over the top, so your index finger over the top of the lead and apply pressure from above. So I'll show you what we mean by this. So you can see that it's now picking up the texture of the spatula. And what we want you to think about doing is varying your pressure as well to get to um, create different effects. So you can slacken off on your pressure to get more subtle tones, or you could press a lot harder to get your darker tones. Okay, so that's the, the general idea. So what we want you to do then, so your first lesson is basically experimenting with your texture, textures. And then you're going to, you can choose whether you want to create a surrealist style uh, landscape or another little kind of creature. You've already made a, a surrealist creature. Uh, so you've got the choice of which you would prefer to do. So I'll talk to you briefly about the surrealist landscape first. So for this piece, you can see that first of all, I used the sole of the trainer as almost like a repeat pattern. So I did the one rubbin, then I moved my paper, did another rubbin, and it kind of overlapped the, the, the various separate rubbins. And then I've got the spatula that you just saw me take um, a rubbing from. Then here I've got the end of a fork and I've actually added then spikes to it. So once I, I did all my textures, the clouds, by the way, they were um, a sieve. Once I've done all my textures, I then went in and I drew aspects to it as well. I mean, this didn't take me very long at all, probably about 30 minutes, um, but you know, you could spend a bit longer on yours. Uh, so that's the surrealist collage, landscape, I'm sorry. So that's a landscape. And then I had, this was like very considered. The, the way I did this, I thought about it really carefully. When I came to my creature, I started off in a similar way to what Max Ernst used on occasions. I just started by using, I just put three textures down. So I did this area here, I did that area there, and I did this area here. And then I was thinking, well, what, what does this actually look like? What could I turn it into? And from those three areas, then I decided that I would turn it into this creature. So I started then drawing bits by hand. I drew the kind of like the eyelid, this section here, the tongue, these lovely textures. So they're not actually a rubbing, they're drawn by hand here. And then um, I used the rubbing technique to create this section here, but in a much more controlled way. And I'm gonna show you how I did that now. So I, first of all, I drew the, this, this shape coming down the back of the head. I drew that out first, and then I placed it on top of my sieve. And now I'm actually doing my rubbing a bit more uh, specifically. So I'm actually only rubbing up to the line. So these little areas here, you might have to change your grasp slightly. Okay, just use that there. 
So I'm kind of keeping to the line. If you do go out of the line, you can just use a rubber to rub, rub afterwards, just like you would if you were doing a normal drawing. And again, you can use the rubbers to add highlights too. Okay, so you're pressing much kind of harder. I want my darker tone along this side. So I'm pressing dark harder when I want my darker tones. And then when I want it to kind of fade into a much softer tone, I press a lot softer. And then what you can do then, you can take it off the actual object and you can go back in and kind of refine your drawing and neaten it up. And then what I would probably do is actually use a rubber there to crisp that, crisp that line up there. Okay, so just have fun. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if it's not an amazing drawing. It's just a case of having a really nice experiment and enjoying yourself as well. So we look forward to seeing what you create. So take a photo and upload it to Google Classroom. Thank you.